I'm Miles Johnson with Hyundai Motor America, I'm the connected car manager, and I'm going to give you guys a quick demonstration of Apple's CarPlay. Um, all we need to do to get CarPlay to work is we need a, a simple iPhone 5, a lightning cable that plugs into the USB port in our 2015 Sonata here, and then uh, the rest is taken care of. We're going to operate uh, Apple's CarPlay through our head unit here and through a steering wheel button uh, that uses Siri, which you're all familiar with. Um, so what Apple and Hyundai have done is gotten together to simplify the most popular features on an iPhone and bring them inside the Hyundai car onto the head unit and through Siri. So I'm just going to take you through those basic features. So you're driving in your car and you want to make a call. We can simply hit the phone button. Who would you like to call? Call Miles Johnson Mobile. Calling Miles Johnson Mobile. And you can see it's activating the call. It's calling my phone. I'm going to quickly end the call here, but you can notice all the icons are very easy to read and familiar with your smartphone. Could mean any type of break of substantial length. So at the top here, you see all the familiar icons of a of a of a smartphone. Your favorites, all my recent call, my call history is here. I can bring up a, a previous call if I want. I can end that call. Very simple. Um, all of my old calls are here. I can bring up my contacts. Very simple. Mobile work numbers are there. I can bring up a keypad if I want to dial it the old-fashioned way. And then I can also bring up all my voicemails. I don't have any voicemails on here, but I could scroll through them and listen to the voicemails. Okay, um, on the left here we have the time and we're working on a 4G uh, Verizon LTE connection. This is our home button, which takes us back to the home screen. Now I'm going to take you through music. Obviously music something that we listen to in our cars all the time. Um, and Apple has had a great relationship with the music industry for a long time. So we hit the music icon and it takes us in through uh, a music setting. We've got some choices. Most people are now familiar with iTunes Radio. I can click that. I can bring up a particular station, um, a featured station, ESPN. I can click that, and it's streaming live into my car. Um, Games in these sports. You can hear the, the ESPN News and Sports. I can go back. How it works. I can go to Pure Pop and get music. If I don't like that song, I can simply advance to the next song. And advance to the next song. There are some concert venues that I can go back. The kind of synergy between I can pull up my artists. And materials that makes the best I think can pick up a song possible. that I like. And this is playing off my iPhone. I've got some choices here as far as how I can access those songs. I can scroll down. I can also scroll up and down this way. I find a song on the eyes that I like in excess. I can go back. I can always see what's now playing. I can go back again. I can scroll up. Down. That's how I use my artist function. I can pull up songs. I can scroll through my songs. We the ocean. If I don't like that song, I can go back. I can go back again. I can create. I can turn the shuffle on and off. So very familiar. If you're familiar with it. using uh, music on your iTunes on your iPhone, you'll be very familiar with using it. Uh, during CarPlay. I have all my albums, again, scrolling up and down. I can look at genres, country, bring up all my country songs. Very simple, 
Notice everything is one or two button presses. The goal here is safety, eyes on the road, mind on the road, hands on the steering wheel. Everything is one or two button presses to, to access everything. I can go back to the home screen. Navigation, obviously navigation is very important. So navigation is another important feature and we have some maps. So we can go to destination and we can ask Siri to find us things like coffee shops, hotels. We can activate Siri. Find me a coffee shop. I can hit the coffee shop I, I want. Coffee shop's pretty close to you. I can start the route. Starting route to stop and sip coffee. I can get an overview of the route. I can end the route. So that's pretty much the navigation function. So messaging is very popular right now. So let me show you how to message using Apple's CarPlay. Would you like to hear your unread messages or create a new one? Create a new one. To whom shall I send this? Ron Doran. Did you mean Ron Doran? Yes. Okay, what do you want to say to Ron Doran? Congratulations on reaching 20,000 subscribers. Your message to Ron Doran says, Congratulations on reaching 20,000 subscribers. Ready to send it? Yes. Okay, so now I looks like I've got a message back from Ron Doran, so I can have Siri read me that message by clicking it. You have a message from Ron Doran. Thanks, Miles. Love the 2015 Sonata. And that's messaging. Would you like to reply? No. That's the last message. At Hyundai, we know customers are using their smartphones inside their vehicle. We want to bring these smartphones into our vehicles in a smart and safe way, and we've done it with Apple CarPlay. I hope you have the time to check it out.